I'm Jenny. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you spending some time with me today. I am back now working on the Gilbert and Sullivan um, journal that I started. Uh, I, I kind of put it together. I haven't really done the cover yet. Uh, and I did a first, first couple of pages with some cutouts. And I realized that I have not worked on it in quite a while. <laughs> And I sort of got sidetracked with other things. So I want to I want to work on this uh, over the next week or two and maybe finish it up um, because it is a gift for Lochinvar. Uh, and I'd like to be able to give it to him so that he's uh, not going, hmm, I wonder what happened to that journal Jenny was going to make me. <laughs> so, um, so today I want to use uh, a couple of things. I want to use um, something I cut out from... Uh, this is a book about paper cuts, so it was all it's all black and white images. It's really nice paper, so I've colored this, uh, and I want to use that on a page. And then I want to use some of the clothes from these 1890s uh, paper dolls. So I don't want to use the dolls yet because I, I want to kind of save them to do something else. Maybe the, one of them will go on the cover or they might go on the front and back. Um, but I do really love the clothes. So I did a flip through of this, I think, a quick one when I, when I bought it. Um, so I have cut out a couple of outfits, but I don't have faces for, for the ladies. Um, so I decided that I could use some flowers instead. I, I thought about um, using, I'll just lay them here so you can kind of see them. I thought about putting some magazine uh, faces on there or some other pictures. I, I did pull a bunch of them out and, and look through quite a few of them, but I decided I really wanted something that was more on the pretty side as opposed to the uh, kind of silly side. Um, and everything I put on there just looked a little silly. You know, when you put a different face or, or head on, on a body that doesn't go with it, it, it can look a little silly. Uh, many of them were either oversized or undersized. Um, the best ones were probably, you know, cat faces and things. So I, I didn't want to go the silly route. I just wanted to kind of go with pretty. So I thought if I went with flowers for the faces, um, that that would be a pretty way to go and uh, then I could still use um, the, the paper doll clothes. And so I just, I glued the very edge and then I used um, some tape to reinforce it. This tape is the waterproof adhesive. It's the kind that you use for bandages. Um, it's, it's just, you know, kind of a fabric-y, uh, sticky tape. It works really well to reinforce things because it is fabric and it has a little heft to it. So if you're just gluing the edge of something, this kind of gives it some body so it doesn't like flop, flop over. So I have that one. Um, I have this one that I did the same thing. I just glued a little bit and then used a little tape to reinforce it because the flower was, was a lot heavier and was kind of flopping backwards. Then I have this one which is an actual pressed flower. This is a carnation that I pressed last year, I think. Um, and it is, I, I hot glued the stem and then I covered it with the, the tape and reinforced the back a little bit to hold, to make sure it holds together. This dress in, in the paper doll book uh, came with a little hat. So I went ahead and cut that out and glued that to the front of the flower because I felt like um, it added some fun to it and it also reinforced those front petals so I don't I don't want anything to fall off um, it's not really falling apart it's it's holding together pretty well but I feel like the reinforcement on the back and and this across the front um, will kind of hold it together so I have an idea to do a few pages here so I want to start um, with this page and then we're going to take a look at this little um, reproduction of a program which I think is really pretty uh, and then we're going to deal with with these and they're kind of stacked in different sizes so I want to do something um, with this to make a fun little flip okay so the first one I thought 
we would I would use this um, as I said this was a black and white it's kind of a magazine sort of paper like a heavier magazine paper um, and my thought was that I could uh, you know put it in here maybe back it with something so I have a few uh, a few little paper doilies that I have um, dyed with uh, these are watercolors I think and then you can see I used a stencil um, this one has a different stencil this one is the same these two are the same stencil but the watercolors are a little bit different uh, this was kind of a grayer and then this was just plain blue and then I added a little bit to it a little bit of purpley and it kind of made it a, a bluish purpley so it's kind of a gray blue um, so I thought that this is sort of um, an empty page and that if I put that there I could put a little backing behind it and maybe use some washi tape to create a frame around a couple sides so I just want to try out maybe which of these I want there um, might move her down just a little So this is kind of, that's kind of the, just the gray. This one's a little, I guess they are the same color. This one just looks a little darker, more, a little more purpley. Um, you know, but when you're dyeing papers, they, they come out different colors because they're in there a different length of time. So something like that. That one's nice. Let's try the pale blue. Just pulled a few things that I thought might be a good color. Um, I think I think I like the the gray better. It's just a question now which this one's a little lighter. This one's a little heavier up here. About six and one half a dozen the other huh they're they're pretty close so okay we'll just we'll just pick one all right so I think I don't I think we'll take that off but I think I'll just cut it off the edge after after I glue it down and I still want to put some tape so we can still run the border over this or under it, either one. Uh, maybe up just a little. And then I've got a couple of colors of washi tape. So this has blues and purples and floral. And this has um, green, which is kind of goes here and it kind of goes across here and, and some gold. So I'm not really sure which one I like. Let's go ahead and um, stick this down. So, I'm just, I'm gonna fold that over so I know where the edge is. Maybe I'll just go ahead and cut that. Since it's, since it's folded over, we can just trim that edge. the right spot yeah I think so I think so okay Get something to glue on here hope you guys are having a good day it's a nice Monday here we're picking up a little bit of the rain for uh, from uh, Hurricane Hillary which I guess was down ready to tropical storm Hillary uh, that hit the west coast um, I know they're getting some torrential rains uh, but here in in the Phoenix area 
Um, we're getting a little bit of the rain, not a lot. Uh, we had hoped to pick up a little more of it, um, and I'm sure I'm sure the people in the California, along the California coast, were hoping they'd get a little less of it. So I, I feel for them dealing with flooding and all of that. You know, so seems like it's too much, too little. There's not a not a Goldilocks in there anymore. <laughs> no, just right. Okay, so let's go ahead and put her down. Put some glue on her. But we have been, we did pick up a little bit of rain. We've had a really, really light monsoon season this year, as in almost non-existent. Um, so any rain we can get is good rain around here this time of year. We did have uh, a, a cooler than normal spring with a little more rain, so that's good. At least we got some rain then, but we're heading into the end of monsoon season. Maybe, uh, maybe October we'll see a little rain. But weather's rough all over. I know a lot of people a lot of people are under some pretty heavy heat advisories. Um, we're actually below 100 degrees today, uh, which is definitely a, a good thing around here. Um, we've been, I think July was one of the hottest Julys on record. We set a record of 30 days in a row above 110. So it was, it was a little hot. And it's it's still hot, um, but not not like that. Um, 100, 105, you know, is is hot, but it's not not like when it's 115. So we've still been running heat advisories. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna like that one. I I don't even want to look at the green one. I just like this one. I think. So let's get a straighter edge there and go ahead and lay that down. I always have trouble laying it this direction. I don't know if it's because I'm right-handed or <laughs> so. There we go. line up the other edge. Can you manage to get that straight? No? <laughs> it's always a challenge. I am not really good at straight lines. <laughs> okay. Just want it to be kind of even even down the edge there. Let's not get that straight across the top. There we go. Okay. All right, that page is done. I'm really liking that. I think that's really pretty. Love those colors colors, the purples and the blues. This washi tape was just, I think, the right choice. And I like it because you can see some of the green from that front edge. Um, one of the things I like about this journal, I think, is that things are sticking out in different places. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun to, you know, kind of let them let them stick out and see what's behind and that sort of stuff. Okay, let's put that off to the side my scraps. All right, so I want to do something with this. Now this is really pretty, this little reproduction, and I don't really want to do a lot to cover it because I just think it's so cute um, as it is. So I thought 
I could run some lace along the edge. And I have a few choices here. Um, find the end of this. So I have this that could run along the edge there, which I think is pretty. I have this one, which came off of a sheet, a pillowcase, something which could also run along the edge there, which is maybe a little more old fashioned looking with the crochet. That's kind of nice. And then I have this one, which I think is probably too wide, but if we cut it in half, it would definitely be, be okay. And so there are several pages, so now that I'm looking at it, I'm wondering if I could layer it. If we put, if we put a piece here, if I put a piece and wrapped it around to the other edge, like that, and then maybe did something like that, the same thing, sort of maybe this one on the front edge. I guess we could only do, I guess we only really need one side. Hmm. I think I like that idea. So maybe, maybe we'll do some layers here. All right, let's cut a piece. This needs to be trimmed up a little bit. Just get a little piece that's the right length here. Okay. like cutting lace off of things but I don't usually do it very evenly <laughs> so I always have to trim it later trash bucket pull my trash bucket a little closer here that looks like that might be the corner I wonder if I should get another piece that is the corner oh okay well Let's, uh, let's cut a, a different piece then that doesn't have a corner on it. That might be a good idea. Okay. All right, try again. Yeah, this one doesn't have a corner. I don't know why I didn't notice that the first one, I thought it was just uh, curved, but it's actually, you can actually see it's sewn. It went around the, the edge, the corner. I think that came off a sheet or a tablecloth. I'm not, not sure which. So now we'll get this one trimmed up a little. All right. Okay, I am going to use some hot glue. So I'm gonna put something under there just to make sure that I don't get it everywhere. I don't think I will. I think it'll be okay. I got it a little little long, didn't I? That's okay. All right, let's just lay a little bit. There we go, just to get it started. I hate to lay all of the glue at once because if it cools off, then it just gets hard and doesn't stick. That's 
good. Let's see how it looks on the other side. Looks pretty good on the other side. I don't know. I don't know whether to back it with another piece or not. Maybe, maybe we'll put a little bling on the other side. Oh, I was gonna put, I was gonna put a little bit of, a little bit of bling on her here. Now that I'm thinking about bling, I thought just on her, on the little knots of her dress there, I might add just a little, a little shiny. You know, you gotta have a little bling. got threads that I got to get off. I think I got a little uneven. And then maybe one more. So either here or here on the knot. I think down here on the, the knot of the dress. better. I knew I, I just saw that over here on my little stack of materials and I thought, oh, I was going to put those on there. And then we could put some on this side. We could get some longer ones and put them down. Or we could put a few here along the edge. Hmm. Let's see, how would that look if I put just a couple on the edge. Like that maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. I think just just a little something. And that'll help hold down the edge a little bit too. Okay. Here it is. See, I dropped one. <laughs> Fingers don't want to work today. like that and then still have a few left we could maybe just in the corner maybe not down the middle just in the corners so it kind of has a little something there and then I think we'll double over that green lace on the other side and it'll stick out a little bit from the white. And I don't really think right in the middle. Yeah, why not? Why not? No such thing as too much bling. At least not where I'm concerned. <laughs> Okay, I'm having trouble with the strings on that hot glue today. I'm gonna have to go back and clean that all up. All right, so let's cut this one. And let's even that out on the end here. Okay. And I think I'm gonna loop it over the edge. So right about there is where we wanna go across. in my basket. So I'm thinking if we 
do this and just run it along the edge here and then flip it over and run it on the other edge. I think that's a good idea. And then it will end up looking something like this, which is fine because if it sticks out plenty, there's, there's lots of edge over here, so it's not like it has to be you know, tucked in. I like that idea. Okay. Stick it down and stick this down just to just to make sure I don't get glue everywhere. Okay. I have some fabric glue and it works really well, but I struggle to get it out of the bottle. <laughs> um, it's it's the art glitter glue fabric, and I just struggle with that bottle. I have trouble. I I've had trouble since I bought it with the edges getting stopped up, and I put the little thing in it. And I just I've done pretty much everything I can think of, so I don't really use it very much. I had some Fabri-Tac and I liked it, uh, but again, I, I struggled a little bit to get it out of the bottle too, um, just because it's so thick, I think. Okay, so other side, although I did, did cut it a little long, I think, so do I wanna let it stick up on the top? Yeah, I think we do. I think we'll let it stick up. Okay, I know a lot of people use art glitter glue and swear by it, um, and I think it must just be user error. I, I think it's just me. I just, uh, I just struggle with it, and, and I don't really know why. But it's it holds really well. It's it's excellent glue. thought about getting some of the Sugar Bell um, squeeze bottles because that seemed like that would be a good option. Um, but they're a little on the pricey side uh, for glue that I was already struggling with <laughs> that was already a little on the pricey side. Um, so I decided to just go with what I had. I'm going to put just a tiny little bit of glue right on the edge here so it doesn't ravel. I'm just going to kind of touch it with my little glue gun. There we go. And it's sticking out a little bit and I got a little uneven, but that's okay because it kind of makes it interesting. I guess I could trim it up maybe, maybe a little. I don't know. What do you think? Let's see. Let's move that glue gun here. Let's turn it this way and take a good look at it. So if it's pressed down, it's kind of just a little wonky. So maybe, maybe I'll just do that. That's a little better. And then I'm just going to use the edge of my glue gun here again. Just put some right along the edge. Just, I'm just barely touching the glue to the cut edges so they're not going to ravel. There we go. And then if I have problems with it later, I can, uh, I can go back and put some other glue on it maybe. All right. So let's see how that looks from the front. Oh, see, that's cute. I like that because you've got this one and then this sticks out a little bit. So we didn't really cover up any of this because it's such a cute little... Um, reproduction program and there's such you know such pretty fun stuff on it I didn't really want to cover that so all right so now that we're here you can see some colors over here so we've got greens and blues and purples and my plan was to put a couple of dolls I want to, I want to put something here so that when you flip it uh, and then this would be the 
back of the other one. So these are close to the same size. There's not a lot of the other showing through. And I think I could probably just glue them on, although from this side there's a lot more. Um, so I, but I thought uh, to keep from seeing the backing through there that I might attach it to a little piece of lace and then put it on here and then put the other one, you know, on the other side of the lace. So then the lace will kind of just be loose out around the edges a little bit, um, but then we'll, we'll be able to flip the page and see both of those dolls. So do I want the dark green or the light green on this side? With I'm looking at the colors over here and I think I want the dark green on this side. I think that's gonna be gonna be the best choice. I would I did originally think I might do the purple on the side, and I do think the purple is really pretty. Um, but I think there's more of the purple showing through on the other side. Although I guess if we're gonna back it with lace, you know, I guess it's really not any more than the other. So maybe maybe we do want the purple. I really like the purple. Okay, so. Let's use the purple and set that out of the way for a minute. And I just, just want this to kinda, she's a little wider down here, to uh, kinda sit on the lace, just so there's a little, you know, all the way out around her so that when the other one is behind it, you're not gonna see the back, you're not gonna see the white. Okay, so I think, I think I should probably just glue this down and then maybe just kind of trim. I think the other one's smaller, so I think if we use, yeah, if we kind of trim out around this one, that should be okay. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's do that. So I think I'm gonna use hot glue but I'm, up, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go through. So let's see, do I have, let me see if I got a plastic mat so that we're not gonna stick. Here we go. Got an old silicone, silicone, silicone um, baking mat. So that'll be easier to glue. All right, we can glue her. And then if the hot glue goes through a little bit, it'll come up off the off the baking mat. And then uh, we can glue her to the page and then we can flip it over and put the other one on the other side. Okay, so that's that's the plan. So and I'm just gonna kind of get a little bit on there. Her on here. Ah, well that worked really well. Good. Good. Okay, now we can, now that we've got her on there stuck down, we can kind of go in and finish the edges. from this side. And then just kind of use my scissor handle so I don't burn myself. I guess another way to do this maybe would have been to back it with um, some pretty paper and then you would just see the paper sticking out um, but I really really wanted to use the lace because I didn't really want to see paper sticking out I just wanted to obscure like I didn't want to see another color um, or you know I just wanted to obscure the back of the, the, the part of the white here so that we don't see that And it would have been, you know, I, I could have picked something that would have made a nice background for the other one. Um, but 
then you would still see, you'd have to back this one with something that would make a background for that one. And you only see it in places, so it seems like the lace might be the best choice. And I just want it to get good and stuck to this before I cut around it. And then it's gonna get backed with that one, so most of it, most of it will be covered up, I think. It'll kind of be sandwiched in there. But I think that's okay. All right. Okay. So I just want to just kind of create a bit of a background. these off. Okay, so we got a little bit sticking up here. I think once the other side is on and it's all uh, it's all sandwiched there, I don't think it'll move around too much. Okay, so then I want to put her on here and then the other one We'll go this way on here. So it won't be, she'll just have this as a background, but the, the lace will provide a background for her too. Huh. Do we want to cover the back of her with lace? Hmm, we could cover her with a different lace. Oops, that's a little pokey there. bit. Oh, we could maybe give her some butterfly wings on the other side. That might be fun. That might be a fun way to go. Okay, so think about there. Get her stuck down. having trouble with the little strings on the wood gun today. I don't usually have this many strings. I don't know. Just going to have to go through and get them all off. Okay. So she's stuck to that, so let's decide what happens to the other side here. Now, we can put that down, and there will be this lace around her, or we could give her a little something behind her as well. I don't think it has to be lace. I think there's already lace there. But we could definitely give her something else through here. Um, maybe maybe some butterfly wings. Um, I'll be back in just a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna plot some wings just to see how they might look. We'll we'll see. Okay, I'm back. Um, I tried out a couple of butterfly wings and I really didn't like them, mostly because when you got them big enough to be pretty on this side, um, you ended up with a bunch of white uh, over on this side. So I think I'm gonna stick to this idea. I do think though that I have a couple of big butterfly wings. I wanted to show you these that since I have two of them, these came in a pack from Dollar Tree. 
since I have two of them, I'm thinking I could put them on something and line them up back to back and then put something on either side, you know, and use that as a flip, maybe on a different, you know, maybe on a different piece, like something over here uh, and put, you know, and put something different that way. So that's a possibility. I, I like the idea of the butterfly wings. They just, I don't think are gonna work for this. I decided what I didn't like um, is that this is just really plain. So I thought if I if I put a couple of little pieces of this scrap lace, this is the same lace I used up here. Um, if I put a couple pieces here, that that would give her a little bit of lace as well, and it would still back her with the other. And so then that would still be more consistent, and it would pull some consistency here, and it would just keep talking. The lace would talk to this lace, to this lace, to this, you know, that we just keep adding some lace. So I think that is what I'm going to do. Um, so I think to do that, I do want to use my hot glue gun, um, but I just kind of want this lace to stick sort of where it goes uh, for now, and then we'll put some hot glue under it after we get the, the dress on there. So I'm just gonna kinda stick a little, little glue stick there just to hold it, kinda hold it where it goes. And then I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run a little hot glue down the middle. Oops. you're not gonna see that under the dress. And you can see the glue is kind of coming through because it's it's really uh, open work there. So, let's decide where she goes. And get some hot glue on her. Hopefully that'll just kind of stick that through to the other side there. And now, now I can just kind of go in with some glue and finish off parts of it here. Hopefully that's sticking to the paper on the other side through the lace. That's kind of kind of what I'm going for is knowing that the glue uh, just goes through the lace. You know, if we can get it to stick there. Move this out of the way. Oops. Turn this a little bit and get some get some glue around the edges here. side and then we'll do the top. Hot glue is my friend. I'm not sure what I did before hot glue. <laughs> it just makes things so much quicker. Okay. Scissors here. Just want to squish that through to the paper on the other side. All right. And on my flower here, I'm just going to.
just want to make sure my flower stays put. Let's see how it looks on the other side. Uh, yeah, see, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like I like this because she's outlined. She's got this lace. It's okay. You know, it gives a little because it's not attached to anything stiff. But then when you flip it over, you have that one. And I think that's lovely. Just lovely. Okay. You know, I could put a pocket on one of these. Hmm. All right, I have to start figuring out where I'm going to put. Um, I made a bunch of tags so that I could put in quotes for musical theater. Um, and then I just need to decide, like, I mean, if I have some little tags, I could put a little pocket here and she could come up out of the pocket. Um, maybe a pocket on the inside on this side, like along here, so you could still see this part. I need to figure out where to put some pockets um, to hold those, and that, that might be what some of these little ones become, like this might become a pocket, uh, and then something fun on the front of it. That's probably a good use for, for some of these smaller pages, would be some pockets. Oh, I have so many pages to go. <laughs> Okay, I think, I think that'll be enough uh, for, for this video today. I hope you had a good time. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Um, you know, tell me what you like to do with the paper doll fashions, whether you put flowers for their heads or different heads on them. Um, you know, because you can, you know, if, if you copy them, it's a violation of copyright law. If you're not selling it, if you're just going to use it for your own journal, uh, it's probably not that big of a deal, but then you wouldn't be able to sell it. Um, and I, I really don't have a good copier and I don't like to do that anyway, uh, because I, I just feel like it just doesn't, it, it just doesn't speak to me like that. So I, I really wanna put something else. I wanna use the dresses, but I wanna put something else for the faces. So what do you like to do with, with these? Do you like to, do you, do you copy it? Do you put a different face on it? Do you cut something out of a magazine? Do you use flowers? Do you use animals? Let me know um, because I'm curious. I'm curious what, what you do with these, these sorts of things. So until next time, remember, use what you have to make your life more beautiful. Bye.